guys, it's Coach George Tennis here, and I'm excited. I can't wait to do this video, and it's been a long time coming. Wanted to do it for a while. A review, a real world review of the Fitness Reality uh, 1000 Maximum Bench, okay? 1000 Super Maximum Bench. It's been in my garage for 18 months. I've been using it for over 18 months. So it's a real world review. I'm not one of those guys that buys something on Amazon and does an unboxing and whatever, tries to get views and waste your time. Okay, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to know about this bench as a person that's used it. And I recommend it. I think 99% of the people that have a home gym would do well buying this bench and would love this bench and have very little complaints about this bench. Taking, considering all your space, maybe the money you want to invest, and um, you know, it's a flat incline, it's a flat decline, incline bench, and for less than 200 bucks, you can't be beat, okay? If you're looking for a high quality bench that isn't gonna break the bank, that fits in your condo, your apartment, your tight garage gym, your basement. This is it. And after two summers and two winters, look at this guy. Look, 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 two summers, okay? In this garage, tons of heat, tons of humidity. Look at this, look, 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 okay? Still beautiful, okay? Two winters in, in Toronto, okay, minus 20. This garage can get really cold. Canada is cold in the winter time, okay? Look at that, look at that. Look, 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 look. Do you see anything wrong with it? Nothing's wrong with it, it's beautiful, okay? Like I said, for 99% of the people, this would be a beautiful investment, okay? Look at that, look, 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 look. And, uh, this is gonna be leaving me. <laughs> that's why I gotta do a. That's why I gotta do a review today and sh show you guys what's going on. So basically, uh, handing this over to a family with two young girls. Okay, so it's going to the family with two young girls, and I couldn't be any happier just to say, hey, you know what? Here, use it, have fun, grow up, and that's just the way. Now, guys. Before I get into the angles and stuff, this is like a 35 pound bench, okay? With wheels, okay? So you can actually easily move this. Look, 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 look. Kids can move this, no problem, okay? Regardless of your strength level, you would be able to move this, no problem. Regardless of your space limitations, okay? If any, like mine, I have space limitations, this would be a perfect bench, perfect length, perfect width, Okay, and then another thing is that it actually goes down. Let me show you guys, okay? So you can actually flatten this guy out. So you take this here, okay? And take out the pin, take out the pin, okay? Put it up there, Ooh. and okay, put the pin back. This is why you don't do things on camera. Okay, put the pin back, and you can see how nice it folds down. Can you guys see that? See how nice it folds down? Okay, so depending on where your space is or what it is, if you just want to lay it down in the corner, you want to use it as a bench, you want to place some stuff here while you're, whenever you're not using the bench, that's great. You want to put it upright, I usually leave it upright, okay? So basically, I'll just leave it upright, like that, bothers nobody. Okay, you have, might have seen this in my videos for a long time. If you look at my videos over the last 18 months during the home gym, I usually have this in the corner like that. Okay, it's not bothering nobody. Okay, so at under 200 bucks, got 12 inclines, uh, two decline angles. Okay, under 200 bucks, it's perfect spacing. Okay. Perfect quality, like I said, two winters and two summers in Toronto, okay? It has not let me down, okay? Now, when you're investing into a home gym, okay, there's two points of entry that I think, from my experience, the so experience is that you're gonna buy something for now, as I did when the gyms closed, and 
Most people needed a gym right away. I didn't need a gym. I got keys to the, lots of the best gyms in Toronto. Home gyms was not my problem. My problem was being a good citizen and not leaving the house for unnecessary things. So I needed my gym so I can do my workout. I need my gym so I can demonstrate exercise on video. Okay, so when I bought the fitness reality cage and um, cage and bench combo, <laughs> okay, I couldn't believe it. And when it arrived, I couldn't believe it still. And 18 months later, I tell people, this would be the best investment for 90 plus percent of the people. You don't have space? Well, that takes out a lot of options for benches. A lot of benches are built like tanks. They're about 130, 150 pounds. They're big. Even when you fold them up and you stain them out, they're still wide, okay? They're still wide. A lot of them go fold up like this one. But you can't stand them up, but they're big, regardless. And they're expensive. They're about two, three times more than this $200, less than $200 bench, okay? I won't even get in the fitness reality cage because I, I gotta do a separate review on that, okay? So basically, if you are just buying a gym just for now, just to have one, this is great. Because even when, even no matter what, as you're using it, you're gonna love it, okay? Just like I am, okay? Guys, I've used the best benches in the world, okay? And they're not much different. If you're powerlifting, you need a wide back, a wide pad and a thick pad, that's different. If you're at home and you're just a recreational lifter and you're not, you know, lifting 500 pounds on the bench, you know, <laughs> this is good enough, okay? Not to say that, trust me, I've seen people bench 500 pounds on this, all you have to do is go on Instagram, you will find it, okay? There's some big, strong people using this bench, and it always shocks me to say, yeah, man, you can if you want. You don't really need to spend $600,000, uh, six to eight, $600 to $1,000 on a bench that you probably have no room to put anywhere, okay? This guy here will fit in most tight spaces, garage gym, houses, basements, condos. It doesn't get better than this. And look at the quality. It's in the garage. Have you guys seen my garage? It's cold. It's cold, okay? There's cold, okay? There's, there's snow outside, guys. There's snow outside, <laughs> okay? It's cold, okay? I got the heater on in here, but if the heater's off now while I'm making the video. And in the summer, it's hot. You guys can go check out a video where I've actually put a band on top of my cage and the band was melting. That's how hot it gets in here. Okay? Now look at this. Beautiful, yeah? Did you see anything wrong? Nothing's wrong. Okay? So, let's just get into some of the angles here. So, basically, we have a flat, which most people are going to need. A lot of benches just do flat and incline okay there might be certain positions where you want like you know if you're gonna have this bench for a while and, you know it's not bad to have like a decline at home just to offer variety or something you can do like many exercises on it and it's good it's good it's available it's cheap so why not get it okay so then the first one first angle is 20 degrees okay the first angle it's 20 degrees, okay? So, I don't bench much myself. You guys see I do a lot of uh, push-ups on the, on the gymnastic rings and whatever. But I do a lot of curls and uh, I might do some dumbbell pressing. But generally when I prescribe bench pressing, incline pressing, uh, incline bench pressing, it's usually around the 25 to 35 degree angle. And this perfectly offers it, okay? So what happens here is that this is a 20 degrees and I think for most people not paying a thousand bucks for a real bench for example, a tank that A, you might not be able to afford, B, you have no place for it, okay? So this is good. One of the major complaints I see about this bench is that it goes from 20 degrees to 45 degrees and 45 degrees is a way too much if you're chaining chest. This would be more like a shoulder thing, right? But if you're gonna do the opposite and you do some, um, do some, um, for example, if you're gonna do some uh, band work for uh, rear delts or stuff like that, or you're gonna do curls, this is good. But for chest, it's a little bit too high, right? But 
it works it works and then so it'll be good for shoulders and right up here what's that 60 degrees okay that's even good for shoulders too again rear delts back biceps and here we are right up and there's no gap obviously a little bit of a gap or whatever for 200 bucks man less than 200 bucks i'll take it and then you can actually sell it guys if you're gonna buy a thousand dollar bench that a you might not be able to afford and you might not be able to put it anywhere comfortably so oh my god that thing takes up too much space look no further than the fitness reality 1000 max uh, 12 incline bench okay 12 angle bench it's the best one for most people, okay? And as I can state for quality, <laughs> two humid summers, two freezing colds, it's right in here, okay? So, uh, let's just see if I was to do a bench press here, okay? As you can see, what I do, I'll be in the cage, but just for video purposes, you can see, everything's good. My back is on the pad, everything's great, okay? There's no need for me to spend three, four times more money on a cage just to have my back covered up in the pad so I have a bigger place. If you're a powerlifter, go ahead. You got money, go ahead. You got space, go ahead. But if there's a lot of limitations in your life as far as home gym's concerned and money, this is the guy, okay? The fitness reality cage, okay? So for example, for me, what I do is I usually go in the cage. I have... Um, I have my uh, my rack in there, my rackable, my easy bar rackable, and what I do mostly I'll try and get in here. Okay, what I usually do is I usually just do uh, so. I'm up here. I'm at an incline. It's nice for the tricep. Feels great. Then I'll do like a tricep extension. Okay, and I'm up here. And I got my foot in this placement here just to keep me tight, just to keep it a little bit more stable. And I'm up. Again, if I want to do a, a bench press with, uh, with this bar, any bar, I have it right here. It's good. Feels good. Okay. And um, what was I going to say? Let me just get out of here. Okay. And something I do a lot on this bench is uh, incline curls. Okay. So... And usually between 45 and uh, 20 so I'll do like incline curls here okay there you are okay I usually don't do this angle I find it too high I do that exercise for a scratch so I'm usually at the 20 degree mark angle okay which is right there let me just take this back a little bit guys okay so I'm right here and boom Okay, and I got that nice scratch. And again, if I'm doing um, presses, I'm right here. Feels great. Okay, you guys got to remember, if you're doing a wide variety of exercises at home, sometimes that wide bench gets in the way of your movement. Okay, so there's a, there's a compromise there. If you're going to bench press, you're a power lifter, yeah, you probably want a wider thing. But what you want and what you can afford and what you can fit are, you know, they, comes with, they, they clash sometimes. For most people, they want to do like a fly, they want to do like a fly, okay? Because it's the perfect amount of width on the backrest, you can still do your fly, okay? You don't got your backrest bumping into your scap and then you limit the movement, okay? Again, if you want to do... Um, You want to do front raises, you want to do front raises, out, out, you want to do rows, rows, then you can angle, angle it, okay, you want to do a little bit of incline, go ahead, okay, a little bit weird, but it works, changing angles works, up, okay, if you want to do like a row, if you have a seated row over there like I do, Okay, you want to pull and you want to keep the backrest to the chest just to hold you in place. It's great. Okay, so 
for most people, this is the bench you should get, okay? And concerning a home gym, usually you're gonna have people that are just getting something for now because that's what they can afford, that's the space they have, and later on they might sell the equipment or give it away, as I'm giving this away, okay? And I'll go get myself something better, okay? But I'm giving this away. Buy it, gift it, share it is my philosophy for gym equipment, right? Also, if you buy this for under $200, you'll have no problem selling it. Do you understand? Because what did you want? You want 100 bucks? Well, you're probably gonna find somebody that doesn't have 200 bucks, but they got 100 bucks, they can afford it. But if you go and buy that 600, 800, $1,000 bench, that is probably inappropriate for most people because they don't have the space, okay? Like me, right now, I'm gonna be buying a bigger bench, but I already know the compromises because my garage is too big. You know what I mean? But for me now, I'm too invested in this, and I'm hoping that one day I can have clients come here, uh, kids come here, and it's not a big deal for me. So I used this for 18 months, I had a great time with it, I got my money out of it, and I'm gonna get money out of it every day knowing that a family, two young girls are gonna start weightlifting, bodybuilding, training, and they're gonna be using my gift. And I have no problems thinking that, you know what, in a couple of years, that family might do what I'm doing, upgrade their bench, from this to a better one and pass this along too. I have no problems to think that this guy is gonna last a long time and go through many, many houses just for under 200 bucks, okay? But if you go buy that $1,000 bench, you're not even gonna sell it for 500 bucks. Nobody's gonna buy it, okay? Trust me, I know. We've, we've been selling equipment. We know what the market does and doesn't do, okay? We know what the, we know what the, we know what the sale, the pay rate is here. It's not that high, okay? Which is another reason why I tell the people to get York plates because you can sell them later, okay? But, so, that's my fitness reality review. It's a great bench, okay? Got some angles up here too, okay? You can move this up here, okay? So, what happens here is, if you move this uh, on the incline, okay? It shifts everything on the backboard there about 5%, 5 degrees, okay? So I'm there, okay? So there we are. So it goes up a little bit, okay? So now, the decline is a little bit too much for me, okay? So here we are. Okay, and you would put your feet in there, and I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, okay? So that would be the incline, okay? So once you have this up, okay, it alters everything else by 5%. So that would be uh, 15%, okay? And then that would be, um, what's going on? So that would be uh, 15% and that would be 40 degrees, which is still a little bit too inclined. Okay, and there you go. It just, uh, just takes out about 5% of the incline. So I think it's really unnecessary, okay? Sometimes, um, sometimes if you just wanna go on a little bit of a decline like that, okay? It's very minor, okay? It's cool, okay? And you just can't complain. And then when you wanna pack it up, okay? No matter what your strength levels are, okay, just fold it, weighs 35 pounds, as opposed, as opposed to the big benches that weigh over 100 pounds, okay, take out this little knob, okay, put it in, and there you go. And what do you want to do? You want to um, take that out, okay, You want to leave that flat there? It's not taking much space, guys. It's not taking up much space. Look at this, okay? It's taking up about 12 inches, okay? Look at that, about 12 inches, okay? And it's good, 
and again any way you want to hold it or don't forget that uh, the floor in the garage is not even okay and there you are and it stands up nice all right <laughs> and that's good again fitness reality you can see okay all right and I just can't recommend this bench enough okay I think you're gonna love it and um, even to be a bit negative even if you didn't love it it's better not to love a $200 bench than I know a lot of people have spent thousands thousands of dollars on a bench okay and um, they hated it okay they absolutely hated it okay and there's no such thing as a perfect bench but when you're paying an extravagant amount of money you obviously expect more okay here we have a beautiful compromise of cheap quality fits in tight spaces okay and you will get half your money back no matter what like I said if you buy it for 200 bucks I'm sure you're gonna be able to sell it for 100 bucks in the future so let's just take in my case I'm giving it out for free it doesn't matter to me right but let's just say I was gonna sell it for 100 bucks after I bought it for 200 bucks 18 months I used it man 18 months I used it okay and I made money off it and I displayed making videos for people okay I got my money back I got my happiness out of it I got my fitness out of it okay and now I'm giving getting 100 bucks back and I can take that money and put it somewhere else if I want okay it helps when you're in the industry and you know what bench you works whatever okay for example I'm getting a new bench and I already know that I will like the bench I just won't like it when it's around my <laughs> I don't have room for it right but that's just a compromise that I already know that I'm going to live with okay and that's the thing when people make a major purchase and fitness equipment is definitely a major purpose okay can't tell you how many people say oh I should have listened to you I was gonna buy that I told you okay oh I wish I didn't buy that or whatever it's too late it's always nice to consult with somebody that knows what they're talking about that's why this is a real world review of not oh it goes up 12 uh, angles and it does a decline and whatever and next thing you know they've never used it once and they're not going to they pack it up and they send it back to Amazon and then they're collecting money off it okay I hate people like that they're jerks because you're reviewing something you have no idea what you're talking about this guy's leaving I love it I'm gonna miss it I'm definitely gonna miss it but the happiness I'm going to get, I've already got, and the happiness I'm going to get knowing that it's going to a proper house is just priceless to me. And it's priceless to me that I'm telling you guys that if you are on the fence about buying cheaper equipment, like a fitness reality bench, a fitness reality cage, don't be. You've seen it in my gym, you've seen it in my videos for like the last 18 plus months, okay? I can get anything I want okay well now I can now that everything's in stock right when I got this nothing was in stock right this was in stock and I'm glad it was and I got a good price on it and the price is still good on it and 99% of the people this is enough coach take us out like subscribe share okay and if you have any questions about this don't worry ask me I know okay and um, can uh, help you guys out in that regard Okay, if you guys buy it and you love it, please share it, please comment below, oof, okay, <laughs> and um, yeah, that's how life is, guys, making sure that you share real world experience, because when people go to work and they're spending real money, you actually want them to buy something that, you know what, I have zero regrets telling them to buy that bench, and right now, I have zero regrets, zero worries, zero concerns about telling people to buy the Fitness Reality uh, 1000 Max Bench. Coach Tennis out. Like, subscribe, share. All right?